My name is Jan Moody and I am part of the team here at Edge Elastic. I'm here with Betsy Nelson today. She used donors choose to purchase Edge Elastic Teacher Premium. Um, so we're interviewing her today to learn more about it um, and about her story. So to start off, Betsy, will you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, well, I'm a fourth grade teacher in um, South Dakota and I work at a Title I school. So I'm uh, currently uh, working on my doctorate for uh, curriculum and instruction with an emphasis in technology. So uh, my passion is looking at uh, different uh, programs and learning how tech can work within curriculum and your instruction. So that is kind of where I stumbled upon uh, Edge Elastic. That's great. So how do you use Edge Elastic in your classroom? Uh, I use it for both. Um, Right now I have it for both the reading uh, curriculum, which we use a, a wonders curriculum, and then we use investigations math. So usually I incorporate just their, some of their daily work, just daily assessments in there. So I always give them like some quick, um, I use it sometimes as like an exit or uh, part of their reading, their write about reading. So I just embed um, some of their reading and their questioning in there and try to make it look as much like a Smarter Balance um, prompt as I possibly can. Um, so can you tell me about Donors Choose um, and how you first okay. learned of it and just kind of what it is for those um, who don't know? Uh, Donors Choose, um, I had heard of it Suma, actually, my district has a big push for donors choose because uh, as a classroom teacher, we do spend a lot of money of our own money uh, trying to get supplies and furnish our classrooms and keep them running at all times. So they really enforced or really um, tried to do a lot of PD around donors choose. So every year I try to put out a couple different projects, whether those are books, um, computer program, uh, or like I've done fish tanks, I've done books, um, a gardening uh, center, that sort of thing. So anything that where you feel like, okay, I, I would like to have my students have access to this um, is, is a great tool to use donors choose on. Um, because after a while, if you have a spouse or something, they're like, okay, now you can't buy one more thing for your classroom. Just not, no, you can't. And so I had kind of hit that point with my uh, spouse where they were like, no, I know it's a hundred dollars, but no, not, yeah. <laughs> not, not going to happen. So I said, well, um, since it was a smaller dollar amount, and I know that Donors Choose really advocates uh, projects that fall under like a 400 to 300 range is usually where they like the um, projects to fall. I've had bigger ones go through, but usually that four or $500 range is usually a good spot and to do it as early as possible. So I had actually trialed um, during using the free option of uh, Edge Elastic. You know, I was just kind of playing around with it. And so then I quick about probably a week before um, here we call it Native American Day, uh, Columbus Day. Uh, I just I submitted um, the Donors Choose project um, to be funded. And then um, it was funded during the uh, Native American Day. Yeah, well, that, that's amazing. Thank you for sharing that story. I'm really happy to hear that it's worked out for you. So what other features in Teacher Premium have you been using and that what, what would you recommend to others to try out? Um, I think like, you know, I really like the, well, it's kind of like a, it's a really deep program. So for you to sit down and learn it just as, a, as an individual, this is just a suggestion. I think it's, it's a more maybe a team thing. It is so, it's, it's, there's a ton of things you can do with it. I mean, it's, it's an amazing, I believe it's a truly an amazing program. Um, and just being able to work through all the um, tools that are on there. Is every if you if a team uses it, that would probably be great. But you know that collaboration piece, you could probably move through it much faster than just as a one singular person. Just want to say again, thank you so much for sharing your story. I'm really excited to be able to share it with our entire Edge Elastic community. Mm -hmm.